fried cauliflower with meat, a vegetable soup, steamed cabbage, and long bean flowers. There's a lot of food, and we see the basic elements of Lao cuisine, elements we happily see over and over. The spicy fermented fish condiment pod deck. And of course, the ubiquitous basket of sticky rice, used as both starch and implement. So as you know the Lao culture, you start with the rice, and you dip on the chili paste first, and then you can start with whatever you want. Uh, so these are the swallows that we swallows. Almost, almost caught today. Wow, they really cooked down tiny. These are... It has a strong taste that comes on after. A bit of bitter and... Um, ah. The swallows are eaten bones, guts and all. The salt cure and the fermentation give them a very salty and very bitter brackish flavor and an even more unpalatable aftertaste. I can frankly barely get mine down. I mean, my eyes are tearing and I'm doing my very best to look cool and not spit it out. Fortunately, there's plenty of Lao Lao, the national tipple. Lao Lao. Lao Lao. In a Lao style, he will present it to everybody first. Yes. Then he, from, um, from left to right, everybody will have a, a small shot. Oof, good. <laughs> <laughs> Is it your first time in Laos? Yes. <laughs> Why Laos? Why did you come to Laos? Why here? Yeah. That's a great question. Why? Because, because I've read about it for so long. And, it, and it, it's always a, a, an empty space in history. It's a very romantic, uh, very beautiful, um, almost very, very enchanted place that no one knows about. So, of course I had to come here. And what do you think? I understand. Of love. Everyone who came here, who, who became um, captivated by this place. Of course, you look at these mountains with the mist in the morning. It's it's uh, you know it, it's it's magical. No, there's no place like it. Yeah, the man. <laughs> Cheers, and Cheers to that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no. I'm so upset.